A neighbourhood leader is a community leader, working to create positive relationships with their neighbours, to work towards one final end, which is wildfire preparedness, to protect their homes and their neighbourhoods. A neighbourhood leader is anyone. Every neighbourhood is unique. A fire adapted community neighbourhood is one that is informed, is engaged and is prepared for wildfire. This means that they're adapted and resilient to wildfire in the sense that when a wildfire comes into the community, they're ready to go. When they leave, they have no concerns. When they come back, they can get back to life as it was. I was born here and this is my community, so I feel a huge sense of pride about being involved and supporting my community and I think this is a great way for all of us to be involved in that process to make ourselves safer, our community safer, our neighbourhoods safer. One of the first steps is communication. You're going to want to reach out to your neighbourhood and ensure that everyone knows what is going on. You can do that in terms of social media, you can set up a Facebook group page or a Facebook page. You can also do that through flyers, you can contact people and get their email contacts and send out emails. The main aim is to communicate and send out that information that you are now a fire adapted community working together. The next step that you can take is to have a short meet and greet for your neighbourhood to ensure that everyone is involved and understands what's going to happen. The next step, which is really the core element of the programming, is that you will start to organise a work day. That work day is when you as a neighbourhood collectively begin to organise and work together to clear around your houses and maintain defensible space compliance. As a neighbourhood leader, we um, organize uh, annual work days and we put together a calendar for our neighbourhood and we, in the work days, we offer services to people who might not be able to do some yard cleanups and we usually coordinate with our fire department and they will come and um, help us uh, give demonstrations and things about fire safety and fire prevention and we do uh, the chipping and the cleanup and uh, so and then we usually have a barbecue. <laughs> the long-term duties of a neighborhood leader on a yearly basis are pretty simple. You are going to maintain contact with your neighbors and communicate. Sending out emails, social media, newsletters, you're just going to maintain the connection and engagement with your neighbors. You are also going to focus primarily on the workday. You're going to organize and promote the workday to ensure that everyone in your neighborhood completes their defensible space and home hardening. Neighborhood leaders are encouraged to build positive relationships with their neighbors with the goal of collectively preparing for wildfire. Your role as a neighborhood leader is not to enforce defensible space compliance, but instead inform and educate your neighbors on how they can prepare their properties for wildfire. Contact your local fire district to get a professional defensible space inspection. The Tahoe Network of Fire Adapted Community Program was funded due to the Southern Nevada Public Land Management Act which authorized the sale of BLM administered federal lands within a designated boundary in the Las Vegas Valley and required proceeds to be used in projects to fund federal, state and local projects that benefit communities and public lands.